Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG and Games, and I'm going to be continuing my tutorial series on the Blender modifiers. Now, in the last one, we talked about the bevel modifier, which allows you to give objects a bit of a more realistic look with a kind of cutoff edge. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering the Boolean modifier. Now, the Boolean modifier allows you to cut holes in objects, and it's actually pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead, and on this cube, I'm going to add the Boolean modifier. So you notice we only have two um, um, variables, my bad. And so this is going to be a fairly quick tutorial, so let's just get started with it. So first of all, we need an object, and the operator will, the, um, whoops, the modifier will not work without it. So we're going to hit Shift A, and I'm going to add a sphere. Now I'm going to scale it up a little bit more so that you can see the edges, so that we have a bit more of an effect. Now on this one, I'm going to go and I'm going to set the object to the sphere. Now with intersect, you can see that it's kind of cool. It merges the vertices of the cube and adds new ones in order to fit the shape of it. So if I apply this, you can't actually see the effect until, because you see it just moves it around. So you actually have to hit apply to see the effect. And you can see that's actually a pretty cool thing you can do. You can make a dice really quickly with that. So that's a nice little thing. I'm going to command Z a few times. Um, that's the intersect. Now there's also the union. Now if I apply it this time, you'll see that it adds vertices and extrudes them out in the shape of a sphere. So that would be useful for creating rivets and stuff like that. Command Z. And then there's a third variable and that is the difference. So if I apply this, this is one of my favorite things to do because it makes it so simple. Um, we can actually make this, which you can use as like a Q-tip or something like that, really quickly all by using the Blender thing. And if I go into rendered mode, you can see that all the vertices are there. So it automatically solidifies it so that you can do that. Now, if you're 3D, um, planning on using this for 3D printing, I would go ahead and add a solidify modifier just to be safe. But, all, but if you're using this in Blender game engine, it's fine. So I'm going to go back into solid mode. I'm going to hit Command Z a few times so that we get back to here. So now that we got this, um, I'm going to show you another thing. It does not have to be on the entire object. So if I move this sphere up, oh, forgot to. There, now I'm all the way back. So now you can see that I can actually move this up and scale it down. And if I apply it on here, You'll see that made a little rivet. So it doesn't have to be that. Now it's another nice thing is that if I add two more Boolean modifiers, and let's say we I wanted a uh, icosphere. I can move this out. I'm gonna rotate this. Um, I'm gonna scale it on the Z so I have a little bit more. I'm gonna rotate this on the X and I'm gonna scale on the Y inwards and then scale like that. So where it just fits inside the face. And then on the other side, let's add a cylinder. Actually, no, let's add a cone. I'm going to add a cone. And I'll move this out. And then we are going to rotate this on the X 90 degrees. Actually, I'm going to rotate this on um, the X 180. And now you'll see that this is actually quite simple. We can use the difference one for the icosphere, so that it cuts a hole there. But then for this intersect, but then for this one, we can even use not the icosphere, my um, whoops, we can use not the sphere, the cone, and we can use union. And if I just go ahead and apply all these, and I take the cube, you'll see that we can make some pretty cool things. So yeah, that's the Boolean modifier. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Google+, and also check out our website. All those links are in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.